Today I'm out in the polytunnel in what is a truly wild day outside. Um, I'm not sure if you'll hear the wind behind me, but it's a bit like being in a tent on a rainy day. It's very noisy in here with the wind and rain, but very sheltered and snug, which is lovely after the cold um, sessions I've had in here planting up the onions and peas. Anyway, I'm so today I was going to plant some strawberries. Uh, here we have, I've got a bucket of strawberry plants that were rescued from a community growing project that I was working with before Christmas. Their strawberry bed uh, hadn't been touched for, they weren't sure how long, it was completely overgrown and overrun. So we had a good old sort out. And part, in part of that process, we sifted out everything that looked like it might be old and we cut off some runners um, from the old parent plant. I'll show you, I'll drop in a picture of uh, what runners look like. But we separated them from the parent plant and we repotted them into some pots to give away and also into a new bed that we'd covered with well-rotted organic matter or we dug in some well-rotted organic matter. Strawberries like to, well you can't really keep strawberries for more than three years in the same place. Commercially they replant the strawberries every year but for us amateur growers we tend to hang on to them for three years and then move them or compost them. So and as part of that process is that we save the baby plants that come off the parents on these runners. So this is just, uh, as I say, we just threw some plants into pots. They were sitting outside there um, for the last two, three months, definitely two months at least. And I brought them into the polytunnel to plant in a space, it's blowing through the door, to plant in a space that I've prepared in the hope of an early crop. I don't have anywhere outdoors for strawberries at the moment, so for the moment we'll just get a few plants inside. Before I plant them in the bed, I'm just going to have a sort through the pot and see what's going on here. So, I'm going to empty it out of the pot. So, hands like this, upside down, give it a bang, and then we have it. So, in my pot, some fresh the compost. You can see a nice root system. And I'm going to take off any old dead looking leaves. Already starting. Um, I'm also going to get the secateurs and take off these leaves here. And the reason for that is I've now got a nice little compact plant that I hope will put all its energy into creating good strong roots. While I'm looking here I'm making also sure that there aren't any weevil grubs in here. Strawberries are very prone to a vine weevil and um, I've seen it decimate gardens before. You can use a biological control if that's an issue. Um, you just buy a, a nematode and you put it in some water and water it on plants with the idea that that then eats the um, grub. But um, really just checking your plants. If you notice any signs of withering or unhealthiness just have a look and see if there are any grubs in here and dispose of them. Also the adult will take notches out of leaves and that's a good telltale sign. So I'm basically just pulling off anything that looks dead or dying and just smartening the little plant up ready for repotting or planting out into the soil. We had a lot of plants uh, left over in this garden project and it was lovely to be able to, for them to be able to offer plants to other members of the garden in, in the community. Strawberries are very hardy actually, they, um, 
They survive outside, no problem at all. Just rescue the worms. No point putting worms into my compost when I have a good bed here. I could empty this into my flower bed, this compost, but I'm just being doubly sure that there aren't any grubs in here. And I'd sooner they went into my bucket than into the bed that I've prepared. And you can see some lovely healthy roots here. When we were potting up these strawberries to give away, we actually took a two or three or four plants and put them in the same pot. We're really just holding them until we're, we're ready to plant them somewhere else. So now I've sorted through the pots, I'm going to plant them. Strawberries are a perennial, a perennial crop and I don't want them to take up a huge amount of space in my polytunnel, but as I mentioned, I don't have anywhere outside. So I'm going to put them in this bottom corner here. I've added loads of well-rotted organic matter, some well-rotted horse manure and some soil conditioner because these strawberries are going to be in this area for a good bit of time. I'm also nestling them around the globe artichoke there, which is another perennial vegetable. Strawberries can tolerate some shade because they would originally be a woodland plant, but as with any fruit, the more sunshine they get, the better. And the great thing about having them in a polytunnel is that you do get that earlier crop. So I'm going to pop them in. I've put them in position. One of the um, diseases that strawberries can get is grey mould and uh, bot botrytis and this is caused can be caused through lack of airflow so it's important to keep the plants uh, distanced so that you do get some movement of air as they grow you might find they become very leafy and in that case you can take off some of the leaves to make uh, to provide that airflow I did try and make sure I had all the weeds out, but this bed was absolutely full of scutch grass um, when we created it last year, and we've still... It's one we're still trying to get on top of. It's so very hard to do this with one hand while I'm holding a camera. But we'll see how we go. So I popped it in, pressed it down around. Once I have all the plants in place and buried, I will give them a drop of water. So my strawberries are all in place now, and I'm just going to give them a little drop of water. They don't need huge amounts of water at this time of year in a polytunnel. Uh, it's quite moist. And you can see I'm just watering the, the roots which is where they really need the, uh, it's where they need it most. Just a little drop on each of them. You might have been able to see there's a little nasturtium seed has just risen to the surface. This area here was covered in nasturtiums last year and I'm leaving the seeds in where they just naturally populated the soil. And as the plants come up, I am plan to just dig up the little seedlings and plant them somewhere else. So I'm not too worried about them all being here. Once these take off, they don't really need a whole lot of looking after. Um, when they begin to flower and set the fruit, you could add a seaweed fertilizer, anything that's high in potassium actually, I generally use a seaweed fertilizer if I add anything, uh, a liquid one concentrated into the water. As I mentioned, um, the little weevils can be a pest and birds I actually find to be the biggest pest. They're a little bit more protected in the polytunnel from birds, but outdoors I would be netting uh, these plants. That's it from the strawberry patch today. Um, if you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comments. Uh, and I'll drop a link to a blog post I wrote about strawberry care. 
uh, below in the description. Thanks for watching.